everyone, how's it going? I am Gary, or the Shaper is Tony here. Welcome back to another video. This has been a series, well this is going to be the start of something I've been wanting to do for a while now. I've been recently getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! And I've been a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! ever since it first came to the US, and I was about maybe five when that happened. So now I'm going to do a series dedicated to Yu-Gi-Oh! related videos, like I do with Dragon Ball Z related videos. Even though I haven't done that in quite some time, and I really should have done that. But regardless, I'm going to start off with my top 10 favorite duels from what's probably my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! series, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. I plan on doing top 10 duel videos of each Yu-Gi-Oh! series, except Arc 5, because Arc 5 is about maybe only 97 episodes I believe in, and we still got about maybe another year or so before it's over, so I'm going to wait until I do that video. What series I'm going to do next? Probably Zexler GX, but I definitely know I'm going to save the original series for last. So without further ado, let's get into it. My top 10 favorite duels of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D. Number 10, Leo Luna vs. D-Rack. Now, normally, kids in Yu-Gi-Oh! are usually good duelists, or characters for that matter. But 5Ds came along and they set the bar high with Leo and Luna. Leo was a hyperactive boy who really wasn't that good at dueling, focusing on one strategy that's easy to get around with locking his opponents down that was easily overcame by, you say, Leo Grier or Bomber. While Luna was more skilled, or at least equally as skilled as Leo, but overall smarter, but she was extremely frail and fragile and easily tired. Here, after both the duels in the Fortune Cups, we can see their growth with Leo being more versatile and able to hold his own against D.Va for essentially the entire duel, while Luna comes along and finishes it handily for him. An excellent duel that's, in my opinion, part of the best portion of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. Also, this is one of the longest duels of the entire franchise, spanning on for five episodes. Well, four, technically. Number 9. Jack vs. Carly during the Dark Siders arc. One of the things that makes the Dark Siders arc my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! arc is how emotional each of the duels were, and all the backstory they had, and this is a perfect example of it. After Jack was defeated by Yusei at the Fortune Cup, he began to regret throwing away his friends in Satellite, who never abandoned him, for a life in Neo Domino City, where all of his, or most of his fans, have abandoned him after losing to Yusei. But then he meets Carly, who takes him in and shows him genuine kindness and helps him get back on the track of being a better person. After Carly dies and becomes a dark signer, he feels responsible for it and is more focused on finding her than anything else at that point in the story. And then we all already know, once their faded duel arrives, it's going to be an emotional roller coaster, and someone, whether it's Jack, or Carly, or Booth, or the audience, or everyone, is going to cry at the end. The action of the duel is really, really good, but the story is what really saves this duel, but not save it, makes it all the more better. The story is all about Jack trying to get answers from Carly on what happened to her, and once he finally does manage to break through to her, she gets possessed by an earthbound immortal and spiritually begs Jack to end the duel, which will kill her, right after he admits he loves her. The music of this duel is perfectly fit, and the duel is just so heartbreaking when it ends. Overall, great duel from, in my opinion, the best Yu-Gi-Oh! side. Number 8, Yusei vs. Kiryu or Cal in the dub. A 5Ds classic that foreshadowed how amazing the Dark Siders arc of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds would be. Everything about this duel was great, from the gameplay to its story, we get to see how good Inferties can be, Yusei and Kiryu have good back and forth action, with the duel being in Kiryu's favor for the most part. Since he and Yusei have history together, being in a duel game together, he knows Yusei's deck inside now because of it. The story is the main selling point of this duel, two former friends battling it out over what's revealed later on to be one huge misunderstanding. The duel lasts four episodes because the challenge was clear at the end of one episode, but the duel itself was three episodes, but the pacing and balance of both story and the duel itself is so good it doesn't even feel like three episodes. This is also the infamous duel where you say supposedly lost, but I don't count that duel as lost because compared with what else happened in the art, it's a really hokey ending. Number 7, Crow vs. Bomber, or Griger in the dub. The duel that changed Crow's original fate. Interesting fact, Crow was originally meant to be the final villain of the Dark Siders arc, but due to the popularity of his Black Wings, he was elevated to main character. 
I always liked Crow, and his duel with Grunger really made me a fan. His resolve and what the duel is all about made even better. Grunger, who's recently just became a dark signer with the intention to defeat Yusei and get revenge on Goodwin for who he believed killed his family, while Crow challenges Grunger to a duel because he's a dark signer, and the dark signers essentially kill the kids he was taking care of, and now he's willing to risk his life to get them back, or at least avenge him. I really love the story, the emotion of the duel. The duel itself was amazing, with Crow's OP black wings going head to head with Grigger's burn and lockdown reactor deck. And the ending of the duel was a good fit for it, too. Overall, really great match. Number 6, Yusei vs. Aki, or Akiza in the dub. Oh, look at that. A duel where Yusei isn't writing his cool but incredibly dumb name, D Wheel. But anyway, one of the earlier 5 these duels that really showed how amazing the series would be. Both the story and the actual duel itself were even better than Yusei and Kiryu's duel. Akiza had the upper hand for most of the duel, but Yusei wasn't necessarily trying to fight back to win, rather than refer to the story and try to befriend her because she's just causing all sorts of havoc and destruction wherever she goes. He had a clear chance to gain the upper hand at one point in the duel, but chose not to take it in favor of helping her. Akiza showed how awesome plant-type monsters can be, and the duel starts off with the two testing in the waters and just surveying the other's moves, if you will. Before the duel ends with Yusei using the effect of Black Rose Dragon against Akiza to defeat her, and Akiza herself is actually a really competent duelist, and that's rare to see in Yu-Gi-Oh, especially for a female character that can actually match protagonists in terms of skill. My favorite part of the duel is definitely the ending when Yusei countered Black Rose Dragon's ability with Stardust Dragon, and Stardust Dragon was hugging Black Rose Dragon, trying to contain the force of its effect, perfectly symbolizing Yusei and Akiza at that point in the story. And even though this doesn't have anything to do with it, you might as well say these two fell in love after this duel ended. Fides vs. Team Ragnarok. Dragons vs. Gods. The heroes of the Crimson Dragon vs. the heroes of the Nordic Gods. Now, despite being a series of one-on-one -on -one matches, I consider this to be one match, as it already is considered to be one match in the series, and the best team match of the series so far. I thought Team Ragnarok were a good team of rivals to Team Fides, and now each match was a battle of a different variety. Jag vs. Dragon, or Dragon in the Dome, a duel of power. Who could beat down their opponent with the strongest monster? Crow vs. Brave, or Broder, a duel of wits. Who could outsmart their opponent? And finally, Yusei vs. Geraldo, or Haldor, a duel of strategy. Who's the better tactician? This is a really good team battle that actually ties for the longest duel of the entire series, spanning six episodes. Number four, Crow, Jack, and Yusei, or the 5 Ds Power Trio vs. Good One. Normally, I never really like 3 on 1 duels because they always turn to be one huge cluster of But this one was actually really good. Closing the Dark Slayer's art, we had one final grand duel in the sky above the city. It was cool to see Yusei, Crow, and Jack work together so well after not seeing each other for years to face a common enemy. The highlight of the duel, we had so many moments, like Crow explaining how important the tail of the legendary D Wheeler was to him before sacrificing himself to save Yusei. Jack Ray accepting in the bonds he has with Yusei and Crow, and reconciling with them mid-duel and explaining how Carly's love made him turn his life around, Yusei's speech about bonds while using his fallen friend's cars to survive when it was a one-on-one -on -one contest between him and Goodwin. The ending was perfect, sorry but no spoilers here, but this is the perfect way to end a perfect saga. Number 3, Yusei vs. Jack, Round 2, or at the Fortune Cup. Another 5D's classic that's almost sure to top someone's list or take a high spot on that list. Yusei and Jack, in my opinion, have the best rivalry in Yu-Gi-Oh, second to Yugi and Kaiba. They've had a much anticipated rematch in an earlier part of 5D's, and what makes this match so good for me is not only do we get more background on Jack and how he became the quote-unquote king, 
But what really makes this duel so great is how technical it was. We have Yusei and Jack, who've known each other for years. They know each other's decks inside and out, and they know how to appropriately respond to each other's moves. Yusei is one of our strategical tacticians duels, while Jack is a strategical powerhouse, and they have their evenly matched duel, with them just going back and forth, back and forth, counter each other's moves like four times, one right after the other, and towards the end of their match, Yusei breaks the chain and defeats Jack in what's probably one of the most technical duels the entire franchise I've ever seen. All of Yusei and Jack's duels have been great, but this one definitely is their best. Number 2, Yusei vs. Zone. The final duel with the final big baddie of 5Ds. This duel was great with both the story of Zone, the explanation of his motives, and the action of the duel itself. It wasn't by any means a technical masterpiece like Yusei and Jack or the number one position, but rather the sheer epicness of Yusei using all six Sino Dragons and performing an over the limit Axel Synchro to call out the ultimate Synchro monster shooting Quasar Dragon itself to defend himself against the zone is unbelievably broken time lords. Well, it's for you're going to have to go and look online and watch it do it for yourself and see. Also, there is one part about the zone that disappointed people, but I'll probably get to that in a separate video. But this is the longest one-on-one -on -one duel of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, and one of the longest duels of the entire franchise, spanning on for five episodes. But its pacing makes it doesn't even feel that long. Now, before I unveil my number one pick, here are a list of duels that are going to be my honorable mentions. Duels I also really like, but fell short in making this list, and there are a lot of them because 5Ds are just so good. Yusei vs. Aporia. I constantly find myself changing my mind on what's my favorite duel of 5Ds. This or Yusei vs. Zone, but I made up my mind. Yusei vs. Aporia is my favorite duel of the 5D series because it's a nice prelude to the art cradle. Aporia felt more like a final duel than Zone since Aporia, albeit not as broken as Zone aside from Mechler Astro Mechanical, has an anti synchro deck specifically designed to counter synchro monsters and absorb them to power up his own monsters, which makes for a more interesting match since Synchro Monsters were a huge thing in 5Ds. And with the OP Mechlar National Mechanical, it just made it feel like a more hopeless situation for Yusei, with a seemingly unlimited amount of tricks and special abilities, which made for a good back and forth act. And that's this duel is. Nothing but Yusei and Aporia pulling off these super long, crazy combos to try and defeat the other, or defend themselves from the other's attacks. And it just made the duel that much more exciting. It makes you wonder, how is someone going to win this? Which in the end, Yusei does pull off a victory with a, in a pretty cool fashion. One of the most technical duels in the entire series, that's both my favorite duel of 5Ds, and my favorite duel of the entire Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise as well. And there you have it. Those are my top 10 favorite duels of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. What series I'm going to do next? No idea, but it's going to take time for me to write the script. Meanwhile, tell me what your favorite duels of this series in the comments below. Until then, I'm Yuri, or the Shaker Shrake One. Stay cool, everyone. Bang!